Warning, this creepypasta is made up and not real. It also contains content that may not be suitable for younger audiences. If you get scared easily, do not watch this creepypasta. Viewer discretion is advised. If you thought the deleted THX Trex trailer was bad enough, guess again. I've stayed up all night thinking about that other deleted THX trailer, and it won't just go away. I felt like not being obsessed with THX after what I just saw. However, I am happy to tell you a story about another missing THX text trailer that nobody knows of. It was a sunny day in my town, and I was in my room doing nothing but looking on my phone. Mum came into the room and told me she would be going out. She said I can come if I like, and I agreed. We were in the markets, and I was looking for something that might interest me. I found a court of, of DVDs. I couldn't find any DVDs that interest me. However, my eye was caught on a THX DVD that is labelled as Missing THX Trailer from 2008. I was quite surprised to see a THX DVD in the markets. I asked mum if I can get it, and she said yes. However, I thought of that traumatizing THX trailer I saw months ago, and I sure hope that this trailer won't scare me. As I got home, mum said she will be going to see one of her friends for a visit. I went to watch the THX trailer in my DVD player since I was bored. After putting the DVD in, a message came up. This THX trailer was made for the Spanish horror film Mama. Watch at your own risk. It was made for Mama, I said to myself. I've seen that short. The trailer started. At the start was the THX logo in a dark background with Halloween decorations. Maybe it is going to be something Halloween themed. Then a man walked into the shop. He resembled the actor Hayden Christensen, who played Anakin Skywalker from the Star Wars prequel trilogy. He looked at the THX logo and walked up to it. As he walked to the back of the THX logo, he found a dark hallway. He looked around until he heard chuckling. He looked in the dark hallway. The dark figure was no other than Tex, the company's mascot, who was a robot. Something looked off about Tex. He looked very psychotic. His te robot te teeth were showing, depicting a big grin on his face. His head was twitching, and he looked very bloodstained. Tex slowly reached for the button on his chest. The man started to get concerned about what he's doing. At that moment, it showed a montage of flashbacks. There was a scene where Tex tried to kill a man with a chainsaw. Luckily, the scene cut off right before the chainsaw was about to make contact with the man. There is a scene of Tex standing in a dark hallway. After 10 seconds, he vanished, but after 5 seconds, he later appears again with his face covering the entire screen, grinning with a robotic toothy smile, accompanied by the same woman scream from the first Halloween trailer. It then showed a clip of Tex strangling a person to death, and he later stabbed him in the chest. A woman being chased by Tex who was flying over her, holding a butcher's fight, butcher's knife, laughing in a maniacal manner. And the last clip showed Tex dragging a corpse slowly into the room of corpses. After a little while, Tex then finally pressed the button, and he flew towards the man. The man ran for his life, while Tex can be heard laughing maniacally. He ran towards the woods and tried to reach a cabin, but the door was locked. The man started to panic and checked if Tex is still chasing him. It then cut to a view of the THX logo from the distance. Tex's psychotic laughter can still be heard, but stopped after 4 seconds. Tex then popped out from behind a tree. He walked towards the camera. His face turned into a grin with blood stains. As soon as his face got the closest, the screen cut to black. It then cut to another scene where the man is lying against the THX logo. He was dead. His chest was ripped. He was bleeding in his forehead, indicating Tex ripped out his brain, and his eyes were hollow black. I couldn't stand the sight of the man's body, 
I paused the DVD and threw up in the bathroom. After vomiting, I thought I could handle the rest of the trailer. It zoomed out to a full view of the THX logo, and the same screaming deep note from the other Halloween trailer play, but this time, the screams are more pain than were louder. I covered my ears, but I didn't take my eyes off of what I am seeing right now. After the deep note, after the deep note ended, Tex then fell into the shock. He said, Greetings viewers, I am back. The T-Man is back to haunt your dreams. If you've never laid eyes on me, then you would have never seen, been scared of me. Good night and sweet dreams. Tex then flew away into the darkness, laughing evilly. The screen then cut to the famous slogan, The Audience is Listening. And after the slogan, it said, Happy Halloween from THX. Tex can be heard laughing evilly while this text was displayed. The DVD ended. I was so in shock that I snatched the DVD out of my DVD player and stepped on it. Hammered it and burn it so no one can be traumatized by it. That night, I've been having a lot of nightmares about the trailer. No wonder why this trailer was made for Mama. In fact, the trailer was very similar to the short. What was THX even thinking? Ruining people's childhoods? Scaring the crap out of autistic THX fans? Who is even behind all of this? Always think before you find a missing DVD of an unaired media. Because you'll never know what you will bump into.